<coughs> good evening, good evening, guys. Good evening, everyone. Okay, this is my live session. Uh, like I said last time. I'll try to come once a week and uh, try to do some questions and answer sessions with you all regarding fitness and uh, anything, any questions that you want to ask. So I <clears throat> asked that time that uh, to send a couple of questions and I did receive a couple of questions here, but I've selected a few questions and uh, I'm going to answer it. Meanwhile, uh, if you guys have any questions and if the questions uh, the questions that you are putting is uh, a general question then uh, i'll try to answer it here anyways guys uh, first of all before i start my live session i just want to wish all my harp and por of the rose uh, a very very happy lumba and i wish you guys uh, a very prosperous uh, healthy and uh, a very good uh, year ahead and uh, I hope uh, the year brings you a lot of happiness and success. Anyways, so I've missed this year also. This is my second year missing continuously my Porobdoro's uh, Lumba. And uh, yeah, so hopefully I wish I can, I hope and I can uh, attend next year. Anyways, so let me take a few questions and if you have any questions, important questions any doubts regarding fitness or beat anything uh, please shoot your questions here so I'm gonna scroll up and just see if there are any questions that I've missed okay oh somebody's okay I'll, I'll miss a lot of questions so please don't mind okay because uh, because I'm getting lots of questions here. So in case I miss miss out, please do not mind, okay? So I, I'm going to scroll up and just check what questions I've missed. How is uh, my acting going on? All right, so December till uh, uh, December, usually everyone takes a break because of Christmas and New Year's. So right now I'm also taking a break and working on my body and uh, also preparing for my next project and uh, yeah so basically now it's all about hard work so which i'm doing i am not resting even a single day and uh, trying to uh, control my meal and also uh, improve on my skills like uh, kicking acting you know my language my accent so i'm trying to improve uh, everything so this is what is important i think as we age, uh, I think it's very important for us to improve on our uh, important things, which is needed, uh, which is very important and uh, crucial for my profession. So this is what I'm doing right now. So yeah, uh, oh, we are doing well. I'm waiting for a trailer of movie rally. Okay, so me too. I'm also waiting for it. I'm doing fine. Thank you for asking. Oh my God, I'm, I've missed a lot of questions. Sorry. Where are you? So I'm currently here in Mumbai only. So I'll be here only most of the time now. And uh, yeah, once the uh, Corona situation settles down and once we have regular flights, then yes, I might be back and forth Bhutan and India, but uh, most probably I'll be here only now. And uh, till the time we have regular flights, because if I go to Bhutan right now, I won't be able to come back. So yeah, that's the reason I've uh, decided to stay here uh so you go for bodybuilding nowadays yeah well bodybuilding see, as a profession i'm already done uh, i've hung up my trunks a long time ago and uh, i think uh, 2017 was my last championships and uh, we cannot be in this bodybuilding professions uh, profession for so long you know because in bodybuilding we do not get anything actually okay we spend a lot of money we spend a lot of time we do not have social life and we miss on so many things in life so bodybuilding professionally i competed for only five years so after that 
when it comes to health and fitness yes it's very important so i'll never be uh, stopping uh, going to the gym and uh, always continue working out and improve my body and improve my physique and also stay healthy i think the most important thing in life is to stay fit and stay healthy that is where happiness comes okay if you are not healthy if you're not fit then uh, don't don't think of uh, achieving something in life okay because you are never going to be happy if you're not healthy so first and foremost be healthy so yeah so competing as a, in a professional level i'm done long time ago so <clears throat> i will not be even like thinking of going back even if i get opportunity because it's very difficult like i said i missed in so many things so now i'm focusing more on my acting career now so I think this is my profession, which I have to, which I'm destined to be. So I'm trying to improve on my skills, like I said. So we'll be in this profession for, I don't know, whatever life, uh, wherever life takes me to. Why don't you keep your hair long? Okay, so basically, see, I don't want to keep my hair long. Last time I kept it, so... For me, uh, being uh, being a soldier, you know, of an army background, it's very difficult for me to grow this side hair. So I have some like phobia, you know. So I have to keep this always zero. So this is my hairstyle. I've been uh, keeping this hairstyle for almost twenty years now. So yeah. Am I playing a movie? So basically, right now, like I said, this month I'm doing nothing only trying to improve on my skills and uh, from January uh, we'll be starting a lot of uh, work uh, sorry I'm missing lots of questions so please uh, don't mind better go for actor body instead of bodybuilding I'm not building my body I think Dwayne Johnson is also an actor, he's my inspiration, so I do not even have body as big as Dwayne Johnson, you know, so, yeah, so I know about that, so I'm not like, I don't have a body like a bodybuilder, maybe, in, in your eyes, maybe I look like that, but I know myself that my body isn't like a bodybuilder anymore. Uh, how are you feeling in India? Well. India is great right now. I mean, like, uh, of course, there are a lot of corona cases, but uh, luckily, uh, I'm fine. And uh, also, I'm taking lots of precautions and uh, using face masks wherever I go, using hand sanitizers. And uh, yeah, otherwise, uh, life is normal here. I, I see the life is normal here in Mumbai. And uh, yes, everybody is using face masks, but uh, and also, like, in India now, I think. Uh, the corona cases are going down also, uh, touch it, and uh, hopefully it will subside and end soon. So this is what we are hoping. I think if India is okay, Bhutan is very safe then. So yeah, right now everything is fine. Like I said, life is back to normal here. It's just that the cases has not stopped it, but it is decreasing. Uh, can you tell us meaning of your tattoo? I mean, uh, meaning of my tattoo, I told you last time also, there isn't much meaning, but uh, yeah. I have a dog's tattoo and uh, tiger and uh, my wife. So these are the tattoos that I have. So other than that, my tattoos do not have much meaning. Okay, where are you? I'm here in Mumbai, like I said that time. So I'm like currently residing here only. Mm -hmm. Am I making Singe 2? Uh, yes, uh, it's the, the, the title of the movie is not Singe 2, but uh, we are working on a project. Whenever I get free, if I get, if my schedule works out, then probably once the corona situation settles down and when there's free entry of Indians uh, in Bhutan, then I'm planning a movie called Lingpen. And uh, Ling Ben is somewhat similar to Singe. Uh, it's, a, it's a cop movie, an action movie. So yeah, we are working on it. The script is ready. It's just that the situ corona situation has not gone down. So once everything settles down, because my most of my like team will be coming from India now for like camera and uh, director and a lot of people like uh, they are coming from India to shoot Ling Ben. So yes, so we are waiting. For the corona to go down and then we will 
start our shoot immediately but we are in a preparation mode and we are like we have finished our second draft of our script and we'll finalize it in a couple of months so yeah once everything settles down so we will start our shoot if my schedule permits <coughs> link pin may be on gold smuggling case my raw assumption well you know uh, I'll be very honest. I want to make a movie in Bhutan, which which are uh, based on facts. You know, I don't want to create something fictional, which is not happening in Bhutan. So yeah, it is something related to our country only, and uh, otherwise, like it makes no sense to make something which is like imagined and created out of nowhere. You know, so it's very important for me to make a movie based on facts. So yeah, the movie will be about drugs and goals and whatever uh, small crimes uh, 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 happening in Bhutan. So, <clears throat> how many Bollywood movie you have signed till now? Well, now I I I am not. I don't want to see everything here right now as I'm live because now I've learned that uh, it's very important for us to keep it very very like confidentially. And uh, yes, so currently I finished two movies. So yeah because of corona the release dates are all postponed so waiting for it right now and working on other projects which i am not going to mention it right now once it is finished and all you all will know so were you outsource the shooting work to foreigners see i'm not outsourcing shooting work to foreigners you know something like we do not have that equipment red cam dragon in bhutan okay it's only available here in india so so i have no choice so i have to uh, get someone who can operate that camera, you know, so this is why it's very important for me to take people from here. If you see a lot of Bhutanese people, they always complain that we do not have uh, Our quality is bad and you know our movie. We do not watch Bhutanese movies Because it is like this low like that, you know, you you guys have a lot of negative things to say about our Bhutanese movie So I just want to make a change bring a change. So I am investing a lot of money on the camera the camera we have to pay is per day 22 22k you know so which is a lot so we do not have any but needs to operate that camera and the camera has to come from india okay so because of that with the camera there are two camera assistants so you guys need to know all this it's not like i'm outsourcing it to india everybody rest everyone is from bhutan the class is from bhutan the crews are from bhutan but we have people technical people which we Bhutanese do not have at in bhutan so i, I have no other choice than to Take it from India. <clears throat> so basically, yeah. So the the movie that I'm talking about is that one only, Namge Ti Doji. So this is the movie that I'm talking about. So are you the manager of Muscle Factory Gym? Yes. Sorry, <laughs> no. I've retired from Muscle Factory now. So somebody else is looking after Muscle Factory. Since I'm not there, so I cannot be the manager of Muscle Factory, you know. I am the founder of Muscle Factory. I'm the brand ambassador of Muscle Factory, yeah. <coughs> mm, so are you dancing in <laughs> I'm not dancing, sorry, so because I haven't done a movie where I need to dance right now. Regarding Radhi movie, I'm not sure when it is going to be released, so probably after the pandemic. Everybody is waiting for this pandemic to subside, otherwise the market is really bad. The theaters are empty, so nobody is going to release it. And then it's very like a uh, dumb decision to release it on OTT channels. So that's why I think uh, the makers are waiting for the right time to release it. So it's good, like we should have patience just uh, try to fight this corona situation and try to you know uh, kill this corona situation so after that i think we can go watch without any tension without any stress so which is very important uh, i would love to see you as lead actor in bollywood soon well uh, i did one movie already as a lead actor which is, which will be coming on ott channels by beginning of next year so you guys can uh, wait and then watch. Is there any chance in future if you can bring someone? I cannot bring him. He has to decide himself. So I'm definitely sure that he loves Bhutan. 
uh, the way he talks about Bhutan, he loves Bhutan, so I'm sure like one day he might visit. Rohingya release date. Uh, Rohingya, we haven't have uh, we haven't got the release date yet. I think probably beginning of next year. Yeah, and it will come on OTT channels. Can you give a glimpse of your Hindi accent? Well, it's very awkward for me to suddenly talk in Hindi right now. It feels very uncomfortable. Only when I'm interacting with somebody, then yes, I can. But uh, otherwise. <clears throat> What would you say about Bhutanese movie after engaging in Bollywood? See, there, there's not much difference between Bhutanese and Bollywood. I'll, I'll tell you honestly, some Bhutanese story, the Bhutanese movies, the storyline are far, far better than a few Bollywood movies, okay? And our actors and the cast and everybody is really talented. The only thing that we lack in Bhutan is the technical thing, which is very difficult for the producers to procure and bring because we do not have much big market, you know? Our market is just a tiny one dot when you compare it to outside world you know so Bhutan the market is so small because of that we lack in the technical uh, field and uh, because like I said the market is so small the producers do not want to invest so much money on cameras and you know sets and all so because of that reason otherwise Bhutanese sto storyline are really original and it's really really nice and good compared to a lot of lot of Bollywood or other movies right and like I said the cast are very very talented you know so this is the difference that I see between Bollywood and a uh, Bhutanese movie <coughs> uh, see regarding my roles right now so I'm, tr I'm, I'm, I'm trying to create a face of villain here in Bollywood. So this is what I'm always trying to be here. I want to be a villain. I want to play a villain, honestly speaking, because of my interest in that. So I'm not even like uh, having high hopes of becoming a lead actor or playing a you know, lead role. I want to be a negative. I want to do villain because like I said, I want to create this face of villain here. So this is my aim. This is my goal and this is my target so yeah i'll be always trying to get roles of negative you know lead villains or you know next to the lead villains according to <coughs> the movies <coughs> uh any reason for returning from royal Borga? no there's no reason like i said the reason is that i wanted to pursue my passion in bodybuilding that time and because if i uh, am like uh, if I am still in the armed forces, I will not be able to, you know, do whatever I'm doing right now. So I had, uh, you know, because this is what I uh, had in my mind is to either, you know, be in the armed forces or do something else. I cannot do both at a time. So, yeah, so I had to take this risk. I had to take this decision. So because of that, I had to take a voluntary retirement. And because of that, I'm here where I am. So yeah, that is the reason. Otherwise, like I said, if you are in the armed forces, then you are not, we have like certain limitations uh, in the armed forces that we cannot do, you know. So because of that, I wanted to <coughs> pursue my passion in bodybuilding and then yeah, in movie acting. And so now here I am because of that. So that was the reason. Otherwise, that was my dream to serve uh, His Majesty the King and the members of the royal family you know so afterwards because i wanted to pursue my passion and also bring a medal for my country that was the only decision that i had to take uh, is to retire and then <clears throat> take a voluntary retirement and then uh, start doing that <sighs> uh, how about the climax and denomination in movie rohingya what well, the climax and all i don't know how to explain here i think it's, it's just a matter of uh, one or two months, so in one or two months the movie is going to release, so you can watch there. So I don't want to see, you know, yeah, cannot see also. We have something called confidential, like things that we have to keep to ourselves, which we cannot see here publicly and, you know, on social media, so. What's my age? Uh, am I old or am I young? I don't know. Well, uh... I don't know. I, I don't know that the age is just a number. That's all I know. 
<laughs> what uh, make you play in Bollywood? Well, this is all my luck. I think this is my destiny. And uh, that's all I can say right now. I came to Bollywood by accident. Honestly speaking, I never... Of course, I had a dream. But, you know, when you have a dream, you have a goal in your mind. I think uh, then only you can achieve it. So I always had a dream, you know, to be in Bollywood after I did my movie Singe. But uh, whatever roles I got, I think it was by sheer luck and of course, the blessings of so many people. So because of that, here I am. Now, now, after this luck and the opportunity that I got, this is where I need to capitalize it and showcase my talent so that I can get more offers and if I get more offers, then yes, I would say I'm successful. But right now, I, I would say I'm lucky, I'm blessed, and uh, because of that, I got into it. So from now on, is all my talent and my hard work, okay? And success will be if I get more offers. So from here, where I go, is in my hands, so yeah. How's media in India treating you for now? <laughs> right now, honestly speaking, I haven't done any uh, official PR with any media houses because I'm just waiting for my first movie to release. Then only I'll start uh, getting my PR done. Until then, I'm not doing any PR. So yeah, I'm, I'm staying a very low profile right now. Tell me about Rade. What do I say about Rade? Well, Rade is an absolutely amazing movie, something very different because uh, honestly speaking, I've seen the first cut of the movie and this is the movie, I've seen lots of Salman Sir's movie, so this is something very different, something very unique from what Salman Sir has always done till now, you know, so I, I, would, I would seriously and honestly, this is my honest opinion, the movie is awesome, the movie is very different. And it is amazing and I know that this movie is gonna do really well because I've watched Salman Sir's Dabang 3 and other movies. Compared to those movies, the level is really high. So I think Salman Sir set another level for after this rather. Does home workout build body as six pack and chest? Yes, of course you will, but I think genetics plays a very important part also and also your diet plays a very important part. So you have to be very careful with your diet. If you need six packs, I think the main thing is your diet. You should not consume too much of carbs, too much of sugar, too much of oil, you know? So that is the reason that most of us, we cannot uh, take out our, or pop out our abs. So it's very important. Any idea of releasing, I mean, play next movie in the next upcoming? Yes, I am, but uh, like I said, I'm not uh, uh, announcing it publicly right now. So once and when it happens and when, when we are, and uh, uh, shooting the movie or when we are wrapping it up I, I want others to write about it and I don't want to you know come here on social media and then announce it <coughs> no Radhi is not part two of wanted thank you very much uh, well uh, Radhi movie is a theater movie okay theater release movie it is not an OTT channel movie like online movies so because of that it's a big budget movie so they will always wait for the pandemic to subside and then uh, release on in theaters because there's a different charm in watching it on your computer watching it on a mobile and your TV you know so because of that Salman sir will never release his movie uh, on online so because of that I think everybody's waiting for the right time to release it <clears throat> thank you very much thank you for all the praises thank you very much so I'm gonna scroll up and check if I missed any important questions any idea of releasing I'm in play okay the most questions are, I think uh, very common and then similar to one another so Anyways, I can see like there are 465 viewers right now. So again, I just want to wish all my Porop and Hap Doros a very, very happy Lomba. I must have missed that time. You guys have missed that time. I'm sure you guys missed that time. So I'm repeating again, a very, very happy Lomba to all my Porop and uh, Hap Doros. And I wish you guys and your family a very, very prosperous and healthy and uh, happy and uh, yeah, a very successful year ahead. 
So 2021 should bring you a lot of, lot of luck and a uh, lot of uh, success. Well, what is the total budget of Radhi and all? You know, these things, uh, it's very difficult for me to answer. I'm just an actor there, just a cast there. So these are the questions that the producers will tell you. And also, like, the producers might not even tell the medias, you know, so. <clears throat> Share about that plan for 70 kg and 166. See, we, we, we do not share that plan just like that. There are targets, there are goals. Like some people want to gain weight, some people want to lose weight, some people want to maintain weight, some people have health complications. So according to that, uh, the nutritionist or like the personal trainers and all, that's where they give diet plan. Otherwise, it's very difficult to just uh, give a diet plan just blindly, you know, so. It is not right also for the professionals to and the professional trainers to give that just like that. So it's very important to know the set target and uh, yeah, and if you have any complications like health complications and all. <clears throat> um, thank you very much for appreciating my entry in Bollywood and like I said, I'll make sure that I make you guys very, very proud and I promise you guys that I lift our Bhutanese name really high here in India. I'll conduct myself like a true Bhutanese and I'll work really hard and this is where I am like, you know, why I'm here working really hard right now also and trying to improve on everything. So basically and ultimately, like I said, to everybody, we all have to die once. But before we die, it's very important for us to leave behind a legacy, a footprint where people look up to and people talk about it, you know, making our country proud. So this is what I'm doing and I promise you guys, I'll make sure that I make everybody, everybody in Bhutan proud after my movie releases and like doing more and more projects. So this is what I'm doing. I will work really hard. I promise you guys. <clears throat> Thank you for all, all the guys, you know, all the love and support that you guys are showering me. And uh, I really, really and truly uh, appreciate that. This is why I love my country. This is why I love Bhutan because of every one of us coming uh, together and supporting each other. So ultimately, the main thing is our country, the national flag, His Majesty the King. So because of His Majesty the King, I think we all are so blessed. We all are united. And this is what we have to be all the time. What's your challenging part to play in Bollywood? The language, <coughs> the language is not a problem at all for me. So I can speak very fluent Hindi. Maybe the accent, a little bit of my accent, but other than that, I think language is not a problem at all because I've been in India for so long. I've been, I've trained in India. I've learned Hindi. You know, even the scripting and all, I've learned in learned in Hindi before when I was in India and IMA. So I do not have any problem of language. Maybe the accent and which I'm trying to improve right now. Regarding signing of more movies, I'm not gonna tell you right now, but uh, like I said, as and when I start shooting, then I'll let you guys know. I'll update to you guys, but not immediately, slowly, okay? Uh, did you face any difficulty like speaking? Yeah, like I said, I did not face any difficulty. In fact, I was more joshed up, more pumped, you know, especially, to play that character you know because of like i'm playing a villain character so having a body and, and you know that gives me a lot of confidence even my skills or fighting skills like i did taekwondo before i did boxing before you know i do gymnastic acrobatics you know so because of that i think uh, my confidence was boosted more and uh, yes so this is what happens i think this is blessing from our deities in bhutan whenever i'm on the set and when the camera is about to roll and uh, that's the time like I perform uh, uh, 10 times better than what I usually do actually. So this is what I feel like true Bhutanese, you know, the blessings that we get from our local deities. <coughs> uh, after Radhi movie, okay, like I said, not right now regarding my next project. We'll update to you guys soon. Do you have any plan to introduce Bhutanese actors and actresses to Bollywood to create? Well, 
I, I, I cannot, like, you know, it's my duty to open the doors and I'll give my best. If anybody has the potential to get a role here in India, my job is to introduce them to people. My job is to open doors for them. So I think ultimately it's in their hands because the main thing here is not about acting. You need to know the language. Okay, if you do not know the language, I think uh, people like the similar kind of uh, uh, features. There are plenty here in India. The Northeast people are ditto like Bhutanese and they are more good looking, you know, good height. So they are actors also from the Northeast and there are crores of Northeastern people here in India. So there's nothing special about Bhutanese features. Okay, so the main thing is their talent, like they need to speak fluent Hindi. They need uh, the, whatever the role is, you know. So my job right now is to open doors, which I'm doing. So from now on, like, I'm here in Mumbai. They can visit me anytime. I've told them. I've invited my friends. Of course, because of pandemic right now, nobody can travel. But now I'm, like, semi-permanently, like, you know, I'm here settled here in Mumbai. So they can come anytime here. Any Bhutanese can come and then stay with me. And then, yeah, just check out what's going on here in India, I mean, like Mumbai. <clears throat> Tell us about pandemic situation. Well, the pandemic situation, I think everything is online. But like I said, uh, in India, it's going down. Everything seems very normal here. And uh, everybody is using precautions like face masks and hand sanitizers. Everybody is careful. But the numbers are going down, I think. Uh, that's, uh, it's dropping below 30,000 also last week. So, which is a good sign, and I guess uh, once the, the vaccine comes, uh, everything will be normal. But yeah, like I said, like uh, outside the situation seems very normal. People aren't that uh, panicked now, you know. I think they are used to with it and they are living with it. But at the same time, taking good care of uh, themselves and then yeah, pre using precautions like face masks and all. Uh, um, I mean, one dialogue uh, that I should have played in a role in Radha Mukhi. Well, I cannot say my dialogues here, you know. It's very difficult. There are a lot of Indians here also, so it's very difficult. They will record it and then post it, so which is which I'm not allowed to do. That's why. Once the movie release, releases, then you can tell me to do, say, my, repeat my dialogues, I'll do that. You know, here. Anywhere we go here, when it comes to international platforms, we have to be very, very professional. There are certain things that we need to sign, you know. NDA, something called Non-Disclosure Agreement. After that, till the movie releases, we are not allowed to disclose anything, actually. The only reason I'm saying about my roles and all is because it's already there in media, which is already out. So those which are out, I'm telling you guys. Otherwise, we are not allowed to speak about it at all. <clears throat> Sange Chopel, you are not strong at all. Yeah, may not be, I'm not strong. How can I say I'm strong? There are stronger people than me. There are weaker people than me. Sure, 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 sure. We'll do that. My experience meeting with Salman Khan, I think I gave this experience, it is uh, one of the most memorable experience of my life, it's something that uh, I would always cherish and uh, it is a U-turn of my life, I think, yeah, especially when it comes to my career, you know, meeting Salman sir was a U-turn of my life, so yeah, from here on, whatever happens, wherever I go, I think I'll always be grateful to him. <coughs> For introducing me to Bollywood. All right, so am I missing any questions? Yes, my movies are all completed. I did complete my movie. What's your net worth? Well, we don't see net worth in all here. Nobody will ever see their net worth. So these are certain things that Nobody sees, nobody, we are not allowed to say, that's why I said like, we have to maintain professionalism here, once you be here. You know? <coughs> Somebody is only asking about my net worth. My net worth, I don't know, what is my net worth? I think my net worth, you guys should know. What am I worth of, you know? So you guys should know that. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. 
Thank you guys, thank you, Varun Gale. I think uh, aspire to inspire, this is what we need to keep in mind. It's not just enough to do for yourself, but uh, you need to do after some time. It's your responsibility to inspire youth, inspire the people, which is very important, you know. After you reach certain stage, I think it's very important for you. The main objective, the main goal is to inspire people and uh, set good example and make them do better in life. Hi, 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 hi. How did you become champ? I worked hard. I set a goal to become a champ, then I became a champ. <clears throat> uh, any Buddhist movie you're working on it. So like I said, I'm working on my own movie called Limpen. We are working on it, meaning pre-production, planning, uh, taking reference, the scripting, everything is done. So once the pandemic is over and when my schedule is uh, okay to shoot for Bhutan, then I will come and shoot for Bhutan, my movie Limpen. <coughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It is... Uh... <laughs> It is confirmed that Salman Khan movie will collect more than 500 crore from box office. Well, if the pandemic has not hit, definitely, I would say definitely. But because of pandemic, I really can't say anything right now. But honestly, if coronavirus was not there and the movie had released in May 22nd last year, I mean this year, then definitely it will cross 500 crores. No doubt about it, because I know this Radhi is really, really good. I'm doing great. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> so, singing for a movie. Well, I don't know whether I'm singing or not for Limpen, but I think it's better not to sing, you know. Let the singers sing, I think. Better let the singers sing and then not try to snatch their work. <laughs> I'm not a good singer. Yeah. Thank you very much, Justin Damaris King. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Sunil Nayak. Thanks, bro. Both, both, the Nebat Apka. Which wood Bhutanese movie belong to? I think uh, Pinewood. <laughs> Pinewood, or I don't know. Just kidding, man. It's not necessary to put wood, you know, it's not necessary. I think we are happy as a Bhutanese film station. Thank you, Top Gear. Thank you very much. Of course, I'm still working out, man. How can I stop working out? See, only if I die, then I might stop working out. Only if I have complications, I might stop working out. Other than that, I'll work out till I die. So working out is very important. It keeps you healthy keeps you fit, you know, so I'll never stop working out. Thank you very much. You guys stay safe too. Got each here for blessing and then all the blessings and love from you guys. Ishi, you got your own gym. Yes, I got my own gym, but I'm not running that gym anymore. Are you happy, Ishi? <laughs> See, tell your little sister that uh, my face is like that, I'm born like that, I look angry. It's very difficult for me to smile, you know. I am like, I don't know. I was brought up like that. I, I never used to smile before. So I think because of that, everybody thinks that I'm very angry and arrogant. But uh, honestly speaking, I'm not like that. It's just my face. Like we say, don't judge the book by its cover. I always look scary and angry. Everyone says that, but somehow I don't know. This is how I am and then I cannot change it. No matter what, then I feel very artificial if I keep smiling and then, you know, talking like, then I find myself very artificial. So yeah, I try to be myself. And yes, you're right. I look angry. I look very serious. Sometimes I look very scary, but what to do? That's how I am brought up. That's how I look. So can't do much adjustment on that part. <laughs> So this is how I am. 
Jesus Queen ya super movie singe in a gym India made they will uh, no yeah my super hit movie I do not even have like we have already uh, offered it to the royal media so we are not allowed to even screen it Oh uh, I don't know English please tell me Bhutan language because I am monk Well if I tell you in Bhutanese language then there are so many Indians here watching right now uh, interacting with me so because of that I had to speak in one medium that is English you know Where are you I'm here in Mumbai Thank you very much Bhimraj Gale so right now I haven't set any example I'll be very honest in the field of uh, movie so I'll set example once I get a lot of movies, once I do like five to 10 movies here in Bollywood, then yes, you guys can say that I set example. But till now, I'll just say I was lucky and uh, I got it by chance. So yeah. Looking happy after a long time, LeBro. Yes, well, I am happy. I'm always happy. There's no point not being happy, you know, because you can't do anything about it. So you can pretend to be happy and you should be happy. So yeah. <laughs> How many songs are there in Radhi movie? I think about four songs. I'm not sure. Because these are the things that was already online, you know. So that's why I'm saying around four songs, maybe. Uh, you're definitely bringing good cinemas, improved quality. Okay, see, honestly speaking, Singe was not that great. Uh, did not, uh, uh, you know, meet my expectations. So the next movie, but Lingbe, see, Singe was my first movie. I wasn't experienced and I did not want to get involved also. I was new to the industry, so I did not interfere much. So my exp it did not meet my expectations. And of course, I'm sure most of the audience was also upset. Of course, it did really well because of the hype and the action and something different. Did really well. We, it was, I, I, sh I should call it a blockbuster because the kind of uh, box office collection that we collected was great. But the movie was not uh, up to the mark. I would definitely, uh, you know, be very honest with you. And, but now that I'm experienced, and I have exposure, international exposure. So the next movie, Lingpen, I swear to God, I swear on everything. I'm going to give 101% to make this Lingpen very, very different and, you know, bring the level of Bhutanese cinema uh, 10 times uh, than before. So this is my word for you guys. <clears throat> Who is the running the gym that you said? I have general manager, I have my staffs, and I watch live here. My gym is here on my camera. That's where I uh, uh, check everything, you know. See? So, this is where my gym is. Right now it's night, so this is how I check my gym. This is the muscle factory gym. Can you guys see? So here, here is Muscle Factory. This is how I check my gym, you know, that's how I run my gym. <laughs> so I, I watch uh, live here, or uh, you know, this live CCTV of my gym. How about uh, climate and culture different between Bhutan and India? Well, uh, like I said, I uh, lived in India for more than six years before. So I'm very, very much used to with India and I've got a lot of friends here, you know, who's similar to Bhutanese, you know, there's like no difference. We are all human beings. So I don't find any difference because I'm used to with Indians and used to have a lot of Indian friends. So, yeah. But honestly speaking, I feel much better now. In the beginning, I used to miss home and then I used to miss everything. But now I'm settled and I'm quite happy and working really, really hard on my body, on my skills, on my language, on my accent. So this is what I'm doing. Thank you very much, Sang Rinzi. Singing movie fight was good, Lord. Thank you very much. But uh, like I said, Lingpen is going to be uh, far better than Singe. I promise you that. We have got a very good set of team for Lingpen. So you can mark my word. It's going to be awesome. The only problem with Lingpen right now is that uh, because of the pandemic, no? We cannot take my friends from here and I also cannot come. So the Lingpen movie will be short. We are planning next October, October 2020 to shoot Lingpen and probably by end of the year or beginning of uh, 2021, we'll try to release it in theaters. Uh, 
are you not going to make goodness movie i think you missed that time so i said i'm going to make lingpen i'll always make goodness movie every year one or two movies from the town okay that is assured i will definitely make how can i not make goodness movie goodness movie is the one who pushed me where i am here right now so i'll definitely not leave that aside i'll try to improve our goodness cinema and then every year one at least once a year if i can two movies a year from bhutan 100 percent kandru renche well i am also very very excited honestly speaking but uh, what to do i have to have patience and wait for the trailer wait for the movie release but i know once it releases it will be awesome i think it will be worth waiting you know right now because of the pandemic i think the main thing right now what we need to do and what we need to focus is to stop this pandemic to prevent this pandemic take care of yourself take care of parents take care of your family and then yeah stay safe so that's all we can do right now once everything is over i think we should just need to have patience and then watch without any stress without any tension without any problems <clears throat> my family are there in bhutan right now because of pandemic <clears throat> once everything settles down like i said once there are regular flights then yeah my family also visit me they will also come here for holidays and uh, yeah but because of not having regular flights i cannot go up they cannot come here so what to do this is the situation i think we have to face it if i come to bhutan then i won't be able to come back i won't be able to meet the people i won't be able to shoot movies so because of that i'm stuck here and yeah this is what i'm doing i think we have to sacrifice something to get something so not everything comes so easy away you know <laughs> Young Zone, I, I don't like your body, but I like your face. Thank you very much. Thank you. I don't know whether it's compliment or I don't know. Anyways, thank you very much. May you have all success. Thank you very much, Sonam. Say something about Salman Khan. I've already said about Salman, sir. Only one word is like uh, a man who defines the true meaning of humanity. Where are you live from? I'm live from Mumbai. What about your Rohingya film in Netflix? We are eagerly waiting. Yes, probably beginning of next year. January, February, I don't know. I'll let you guys know. Once the trailer is out, you guys will know. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. I'll just take one call. Don't mind, okay? Hello? Ah, Rajkumar ji. Ah, ji. Mila? नहीं नहीं आपने एक मिस कॉल था मैंने भेजा मिला आपको व्हाट्सएप में हाँ देखिए और मुझे बताइए ठीक है ओके ओके जी और थैंक यू दस ग्रे वन आई एम स्टक हियर इन दिल्ली फॉर लास्ट एट मंथ्स ये इज डिफिकल्ट थैंक यू दो जी दिल्ली मस्ट बी रियली कोल्ड राइट नाउ लाइक बिटर्न आई एम शो Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you guys. Namaste, my dear teacher. Thank you very much. Thank you for all your luck, for all your support, for all your love. And uh, again, since I can see the number of viewers have increased, I just want to wish all my Porup and Hab Doros a very very happy Lumba. Hello. Hello. अरे आपको व्हाट्सएप में भेजा है तो मैंने आप मुझे एक बार आप एक बार मेरा ये मेरा व्हाट्सएप नंबर है क्या आपके पास ठेर हाँ आपका यही नंबर में है ना व्हाट्सएप यही से से आपका व्हाट्सएप कौन सा यही नंबर है अभी जो आप कॉल कर रहे हैं ना नाइन एट टू डबल जीरो ठीक है मैं फिर एक बार भेजता हूँ सॉरी गाइस जस्ट वन सेकेंड ओके जस्ट वन सेकेंड
one second Sorry guys, just just one second. Something came up, so please don't mind. It's very important. So, don't. Uh, shit. Raj Kumar. Okay, I'm very sorry. Uh, please don't mind. Uh, pardon me. Just had to attend one call and send one message. So, yeah. So, like I can see, the number of viewers have increased drastically. I'm sure somebody must have shared it on Good News Forums or some page. Anyways, I again want, want to wish all the Parubs and Hobbs a very happy Lomba. And I wish you guys a very, very happy, prosperous, and uh, a healthy uh, year ahead. To all your family, your relatives, all the parobs and hubs, happy Lomba to you guys. Anyways, uh, if you guys have questions, you can shoot. I've already talked for about, I don't know, more than 52 minutes. I just have about 10 more minutes, you know. So I'll talk only about 10 minutes, then after that, I uh, will back off for tonight. How do you help with Apollo Nursing Institute in Thimpo? How do I I do not help, you know. It's uh, owned by my wife. So, yeah, she looks after Apollo Bhutan Institute. What about dinner? My dinner is very simple. I uh, just uh, try to not eat carbohydrate, rice, and, uh, you know, I just try to eat some uh, boiled eggs and chana. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Happy Lomba. Why will I put fake tattoos right now? It's all real. But uh, I do not uh, uh, like to have more tattoos. And I also regret having so many tattoos, honestly speaking. Now I do regret. Before when I was a bodybuilder, I was like really joshed up. And then because of that, I made a lot of tattoos. But now I'm not so happy with my tattoos. So please don't make so many tattoos, especially on your arm. You'll regret later. What... Uh, see whether there are chances of Hollywood or not everything is uh, what your uh, what your destiny is okay I think whatever is written on your destiny I think that is very important hello 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 फिल्म का लिंक मैं तो फिल्म तो मैं लिंक नहीं है ना उसमें उसमें हाँ फिल्म का लिंक नहीं होगा ना तो एक तो राधे एक रोहिंग्या है उसमें तो दोनों रिलीज नहीं हुए बुटान का तो कुछ में भी नहीं बुटान का तो फिल्म सब वो राइट्स है उसका नहीं है ऑनलाइन में नहीं नहीं मूवी है ही नहीं ना तो लिंक कहाँ से भेजो मूवी सबमिटेड है और हाँ भूटान का मूवी है और वो उसका कॉपीराइट होते हैं ना वो नहीं लगाते हैं इसे यूट्यूब में मगर उन लोग उन लोग गूगल करने से पता चल जाएगा सब कुछ गूगल में ठीक है ओके हाँ राइट डी टाइम इज ओनली हाफ एन आवर बिहाइंड भूटान इज हाफ एन आवर हेड सो या all right, guys, I just have about eight more minutes. After that, I'm going to pack up. Uh, I think I talked about one hour. Uh, I don't have any favorite actress, honestly speaking. If you give me an elephant as a gift, where will I keep it? I'll leave it in the jungle. Yeah? That's where the elephant is supposed to be. Not near me or, you know, in my house or... In my compound, I think elephant is wild, so wild has to be treated as wild only, and then let them be free. I think it's possible to remove tattoos, but I think you need to uh, use lasers, and I think it's a it's a big hassle after that. Hi, Fala Topge, my childhood friend. Nice to see you too, bro. Thank you very much, Jimmy Junior. 
how was my play in India. Very good, very perfect. You guys will uh, see it when it releases. Then you guys can give me your feedback, give me your reviews on it. No favorite actress in Bollywood. Happy Lomba, happy Lomba. Or ka baat hai bhai? Ka baat hai? Batao. Where am I right now? I'm here in Mumbai. See, muscles, you don't have to show. Muscles, you have to see, you know. I don't have to show my muscles. So muscles are, muscles are there always visible. So you have to see it. Do I need assistance? Assistance in what? Radhi movie release date is not out yet. I think probably next year, mid next year. I'm not sure. What's my favorite meal? I don't have any favorite meal now because I eat the same thing again and again. My meals are all uh, usual meals. So yeah, I do not have any favorite meals. But now I've turned vegetarian. I'm sure you guys know that I've turned vegetarian. So my meal is very simple. Before I used to eat chicken, before I used to eat beef, before I used to eat fish, I used to eat even horses when I went to Uzbekistan, you know, pork, everything I used to eat, everything I used to love seafood, but now, it's been a year now that I've turned veg, because I always felt really, really sad seeing these, you know, animals being killed, and especially now, I can see everything online, how brutally and, uh, you know, uh, mercilessly these animals are killed which we eat so because of that now i really really don't want to eat meat and i've turned myself vegetarian i feel really sad i feel really sorry how we kill animals so because of that now my meal is very simple i only eat eggs as my source of protein i add protein supplement and uh, yeah some chanas so my meal is very simple and the reason i turn veg is on a compassionate ground you know it's very sad to see i just put myself into their shoes helpless, tired, and then, you know, you know, like, it's really, really sad, you know. This is why I turned veg. So this is my view, but, uh, of course, you all will have your own views, you all will have your own thoughts, so my thought on being vegetarian is that I think I eat enough chickens. Yeah, protein for vegetarian. My source of protein is egg, egg whites. I eat about 24 eggs a day, 24, sometimes 30 also. And I add protein supplements. So that's my source of protein. Other than that, I don't like soybean. I don't like paneer. So I just uh, try to stick on uh, egg whites and supplements. Uh. Will you be fe featuring on Kapil Sharma show? I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. But definitely once I will. I'll make sure because a lot of people are asking. I think you guys want me to be there, so I will work hard and then try to be there. When am I coming back to Bhutan? Once the flights are regular, once we do not have to quarantine, then I'll come to Bhutan. So basically, once the pandemic ends, then only I'll come to Bhutan. Otherwise, I cannot. So many people are watching and uh, most of you guys are, are repeating the questions so if there's any new questions now just about five more minutes all right five more minutes i'm good thank you doju again if you guys have uh, some questions uh, please do let me know five more minutes Thank you, thank you. That, I think uh, in life, uh, I, I really don't want to take anybody's life now, you know, be it even mosquitoes. I don't even kill mosquitoes, I swear to God. I don't want to kill anything in life. I don't want to kill. It gives me so much pain to see something dying and especially when some, somebody is killing them, you know. Even when animal eats animal, when we see that in National Geographic channel and on Facebook and all, it's like, gives you so much pain, man. Just imagine the pain they will be going through. 
too much. So I've decided I'll not kill anything, I'll not eat anything that is killed. So that's why I've turned vegetarian. It's been one year and I'm going very strong. First, I feared of my body losing muscles, but I realized that you get enough protein from egg white. So this is the reason I've turned vegetarian. So if you guys can do well and good. Anyways, guys, uh, I think it was nice interacting with you guys and thank you very much for giving me so much love and support and once more happy Lomba to all the Porops and Harps and the families and I really genuinely wish you all uh, a very, very prosperous, a very happy, healthy year ahead and uh, may you guys be really happy and uh, may a lot of luck shower you guys and uh, yeah that's it from me tonight and uh, i'll come live once every weekend probably saturday or sunday okay whenever i'm free on saturday or sunday so i'll come online and then i'll interact with you guys and thank you very much for showering me showering me with so much love and support as always and i it's my word that uh, i'll definitely work really really hard and then make sure that a Bhutanese name is there uh, in the line of uh, bollywood you know and uh, i'll make sure i'll make everybody proud so till then you guys take care be very safe take care of your parents take care of your grandparents and yes uh, please follow do's and don'ts of the health ministry okay let us all tackle this pandemic first together and then we can relax enjoy and do whatever we can okay so till then take care and for all the youth just want to give this last messages last message to all the youth there watching right now don't waste your life don't waste your time okay work hard right now and you'll get plenty of time to enjoy okay later right now when you need to study study when you need to work hard you work hard later time will come where you can enjoy do whatever you want you'll have enough money you'll have enough success then you can enjoy till then work hard be good okay don't give trouble to your parents don't give trouble to your country okay this is what i want to say and set a goal and do something in life don't waste your life drinking smoking up don't do that just just focus on good things in life because like i said you can enjoy later this is not the time to enjoy most youth most younger generations think that this is the time for them to enjoy. They drink, they smoke up and they get addicted. And then later in life, they are addicted and they are used to. And all they do is be a waster and die. Don't do that. Work hard right now. Okay. This is the time for you guys to study, study, focus. Okay. And set a goal in life. Achieve that goal and then relax and then enjoy. Okay. And there's nothing, nothing in this world which is impossible. If I can do, you guys can do. If he can do, you guys can do. So please keep that mentality and then work with it. Okay, till then, take care and all my love to everybody there. Happy Lomba once again and I'll see you guys next weekend. Take care and good night. Love from India.